place called Felipe, there was a slave girl who had an evil spirit in her that made it so she could see the future. Many people paid to have the girl tell them their future, which made her slave owners very rich. One day, the girl began to follow Paul and Silas around as they moved through the city. For many days, the girl followed them, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God. They are showing the way to salvation. Finally, sad about the girl's situation, Paul turned around and said to the evil spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, you must come out of her now. The evil spirit left the girl, and when her owners saw that she could no longer make money for them, they took Paul and Silas to the marketplace to face the authorities. The angry slave owners told the authorities, These men are Jews, and they are causing trouble by urging people to do illegal things. The crowd in the marketplace gathered to hear what was going on and soon joined in on the attack against Paul and Silas, agreeing with the slave owners. The authorities ordered Paul and Silas to be stripped and beaten with rods. After they had been beaten in public, Paul and Silas were thrown into prison. The authorities commanded the jailer to guard them carefully. The jailer took his order seriously. He put Paul and Silas deep in the jail and put their feet in chains, making it so they couldn't even move. In this terrible situation and a great deal of pain, Paul and Silas sat in their jail cell and praised God. They prayed and sang songs to God, but God was not the only one who heard them. All the other prisoners also heard their words and praise. At about midnight, Paul and Silas were still praying and singing songs when an earthquake shook the whole prison. All at once, the doors on all the cells flew open and every prisoner's chains came loose. Without anything holding the prisoners in their cells, everyone in that jail could now escape. The earthquake woke up the sleeping jailer, and he saw all the cell doors open and the broken chains. Thinking that all the prisoners had escaped, he knew he was going to be in serious trouble. The jailer drew his sword to kill himself. But before he could hurt himself, Paul called out, Don't harm yourself, we are here! Overcome with relief, the jailer fell before Paul and Silas and asked, what must I do to be saved? They responded, Believe in the Lord Jesus. Paul and Silas preached God's word to the jailer and his household. The jailer brought them into his home and made a feast for them. After he carefully washed their wounds, Paul and Silas baptized the jailer's entire family. The jailer was filled with joy because he and his entire household had come to believe in God.